Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be hopping in the boat with Jeff Gustafson, Gussie Elite Series Pro from up in Canada, and he's gonna share a bunch of tips that'll help you catch more fish on a simple jig and minnow style plastic, which is a deadly combination for catching a bunch of different predator fish. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Feels pretty good, but So in addition to, we got some football heads, some Ned heads, some wacky rig jigs. Also got the Mimic Minnow jig back with a Gamagatsu hook in it. And when it comes to, for fishing minnow, minnow baits, um, small swim baits, love these things. Look at that. Great way to catch small mulls, you know, casting. I got that one cast in that jerk shad, but also to get on top of them and, you know, use the moping Demiki rig technique. Uh, probably my favorite way to catch big small mulls. Now it's great about fishing this particular presentation is the fact that it's extremely versatile. You can fish it in deep water, in shallow water, you can cast it out away from the boat, or you can fish it vertically right underneath you. There's just a lot of really good options and it's just a really killer technique for just about any predator fish in the lake, whether that's walleyes, pike, or bass. Ooh, that's a big one. They're kind of all big ones, but oh man, I live for this. Probably not gonna go off the bolt flip on that one. That's a good problem to have, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's sweet. He twisted my bait up on me there, but yeah. Very lifelike, uh, you know, high end, nice eyes on there. Obviously good Gamagatsu hook and jerk shad. And anywhere that small mulls are eating minnow baits, um, that is gonna catch them. You sure? Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> now this bite was truly a hot and heavy bite. It was early fall. We got to hop out in the boat with Jeff and get into a good mess of fish. And it was just the perfect combination of being in the right place with a bunch of fish, the fish being in a pretty decent mood and using the right presentation to get the job done. Ooh, nice jump. Look at that. That's a you wanted that thing or what? Wow. Whew. Awesome. Yeah, they're beautiful. Now, as you can probably tell, Jeff caught those last few fish out away from the boat casting out towards the fish, but as the day progressed and he started seeing more fish right underneath the trolling motor, he employed a tactic that he actually used to win the Elite Series tournament on the Tennessee River, and that is moping, which is sort of a do-nothing tactic, dangling the bait down underneath the boat, but I'll let Jeff dig into that a little bit deeper right now. Yeah, he was about like, but you can tell like, they haven't been fished before because they're just like <laughs> right under the boat. Like, oh my god! You made them famous. The hook set and everything. Oh yeah. Well, that's the deal with that. I don't know if you saw me. I wasn't. I didn't even know the camera was on. But yeah, a little bit of shaking. But man, if you're doing this hang in the minnow deal, if you, as still as you can hold that thing, if you know there's fish down there looking at it, as still as you can hold it is the best. And uh, yeah, pretty tough to pretty tough to beat. A little scented jerk shad, and uh, yeah, man, just good bait. A little dab of glue, you can catch like 50 fish on one bait, unless a pike takes it. But now the jig head Jeff was using on this specific day was the Northland Mimic jig which is a bait that was designed specifically for this application. It's got the Gamagatsu hook, light wire, and it's perfect 
for using minnow style plastic. So I'll let Jeff dig into that a little bit deeper right now. Okay, on the Mimic jig, we got a variety of colors to kind of match up whatever little swim bait or jerk shad style bait that you want to use. Um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm big on the natural colors, um, but sometimes the bright stuffs can be good too, uh, especially, you know, for walleyes and, and uh, we use a lot of the chartreuse for lake trout, ice fishing, it's a good jig for that as well. But for bass, um, you know, they match up nice with these minnow baits and uh, obviously really nice eyes on them, really lifelike. Uh, they come in a variety of sizes as well, kind of cover you for any situation, eighth ounce, quarter, three eighths, halves, and uh, Gamagatsu hook, good keeper, you know, to hold the baits on, and uh, that's all the ingredients you need for a fish catching jig, and that's what these Mimic jigs are. Well, that's about all we got for you in this video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Special thanks to Jeff for sharing a bunch of good information. And if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below. So we have a lot more awesome content coming in the weeks ahead. And until then, we will see you next time.